What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be covering power tools. It's a very controversial topic and Lord knows there's some fanboys in this category. So today we're going to be covering them and we will show you what I think is a clear winner. So you guys stick around. <laughs> All right guys, so as I mentioned in the intro, today we're gonna to be looking at different power tools. Now this is a super controversial topic. There's fanboys in all the categories. Obviously, if you know, if you've watched any YouTube videos, you'll see if you talk bad about the red tools, Lord help you. If you talk bad about these red tools, whoo! Lord help you. If you talk bad about the yellow tools, Lord help you. Anyway, there's fanboys across all of them. As you see, I own almost every single brand of power tools made. Um, I do not own Ryobi. I do not own Rigid. So pretty much every other category I have, and yes, this is the Harbor Freight Hercules, and we will be discussing this today because I wanna make sure that it is a fair video we cover all the topics. Obviously, when you look at purchasing a power tool line, you look at the price, you look at how well it works, and you look at the effectiveness of the tools, like how long does the battery last? Is it brushless? Does it hold up? Another reason you wanna look at different things in power tools is the warranty. So straight out of the gate, we obviously know that the Snap-on is going to be the highest priced and it's going to have the worst warranty of everybody. It's only got a year. Yes, you've heard me brag on this tool hundreds and hundreds of times if you watch my videos. It's the Snap-on CT761. They've got the brushless version now that's 861. I do not own that tool. I own several of these. I love the impact. It's small, gets in places, works really well. I'm a fan of the rocker trigger. These are not budget friendly by any means at all. The batteries are stupid expensive. The tools are ungodly expensive, as you see here with a brushless version. They're decent tools at best, but we're taking them off the table. They're out of the fight because we are talking warranty, we're talking reliability, and we're talking price. So that leaves three left here. Now we all know DeWalt has a great reliability. Um, you know, they've been around forever. All the guys that work in the housing trades prefer that line. Obviously, if you guys know Mac tools, their Mac electric tools are just rebranded DeWalt's. Um, they're expensive, they are expensive, they don't have the best warranty. So if we're looking at that, the yellow tools, well they're gone also. So that leaves two. This is the biggest fanboy clutch of them all. Milwaukee's been around for a while, they're proven. Obviously if you've watched the Torque Test new channel, the new half inch impact is not at all reliable. Um, they've got a great warranty. They've got a five-year warranty on the tool, three-year warranty on the battery. You can't hardly beat that, but you can right here. This tool, it breaks. You have to mail it off to Milwaukee. It's gone for a couple of weeks, and you get a new one back in the mail. This gun has been replaced several times. Uh, my drill has been replaced several times, and I've had to do without if I hadn't had something else in my arsenal to get me by until they came back. But nevertheless, they had to be sent off for warranty. The Harbor Freight's new stuff, I know, insert your hateful crappy comments here about how I would never buy an electric tool from Harbor Freight. Hear me out. I've got a whole line of them. We put them through the paces. I'll show you the videos. We have tried to hurt these tools they've held up tremendously well. The tool itself has a five-year warranty on it. The battery has a three-year warranty on it. I know, go ahead and say it. 
right now. Get it out. All you haters, type it in the comments. The batteries must suck. There's where you're wrong. If you've watched the Dino Tools video, you've obviously seen Jeff tear the video or tear the battery packs apart. He opens them up, goes inside, and what do they have inside? Samsung 21700s. Quality batteries that's put into these tools. Now I feel like Harbor Freight has done an excellent job. I know. Go ahead and leave your bad comments. It's okay. Just hear me out. They've done a fantastic job with this tool. I'm going to cover these in just a second, but I want you to consider price. I want you to consider ease of warranty, and I want you considering the tool itself. So with that, we're left with two at the end of the video. I think you will also choose the blue tools if you will hear me out. Give it a fair shot. So without any further ado, let's look at the tool line. I'll show you the tests we did with them. I'll show you how we abused them and then you can make your own decisions. But for me, it's a clear winner when you look at the price of just the batteries on the tools, the Harbor Freight Hercules line excels over any other. So let's take a look at these. <laughs> So I have the whole entire Hercules line laid out in front of me. Not the whole line, they've got a ton of stuff, but these are the tools that I needed for the job. Obviously I've got plenty of tools to work on cars and trucks. I don't have that much stuff working on a house. So I looked at trying to expand the line because I needed a cordless grinder. I needed a circular saw, a reciprocating saw, and I wanted to look at another option for bit drivers. Because obviously, if you've seen my video, I've had some tremendous issues with the Milwaukee losing battery connectivity. And honestly, I'm just freaking sick of it. So after shopping all the markets, I decided to go with the Hercules, especially after seeing the videos with the battery sales that Jeff did on the Dena Tools. So the first thing I picked up was the Ultra Torque Hercules 20 volt impact. Five year battery or five year warranty on the tool, three year on the battery. 1,400 foot-pounds, and I must say, this thing is a beast. It's almost a Milwaukee clone. It's a brushless impact. It's a Hoss. This is still their high-torque model. Um, this is the Ultra Torque at 1,400. The high torque is 1,200. It is a beast. Um, that was the first thing I picked up with two of the bigger batteries, the two 5-amp batteries. It's this battery and the battery that's on here and the dual charger. Um, I'll, I'm not gonna really cover the prices because the prices may di be different from the area you live in. I don't know, it's easy to look them up. Just go to harborfreight.com, it tells you all the stuff. You know, I'm not an advertisement to sell you the tools. I'm just showing you what I've learned through use of the tools. They're way, 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 way more affordable than any other battery line on the market and their quality batteries. I've put them through the test. Honestly, these tools have been used and abused, as you see here, with the brushless grinder. Um, I've got a five amp on it. Yes, it is filthy, it is dirty, but we are currently remodeling a home, and we decided to take the back windows out that had a double window in it, and we put in a French door there the whole entire brick wall was cut out with this tool, 
with this one battery with this same exact Harbor Freight tile. I think it was called like a tile and concrete blade, I don't know. Anyway, the whole job was done with that tool. It worked flawlessly on one battery. The batteries last on these tools. They are exceptionally, they, they work great. <laughs> they just, they don't eat batteries like I thought they would. I was extremely impressed with them. Um, the next tool I picked up was the reciprocating saw. This is also a brushless version, um, the 20 volt. It worked great. Obviously, when you're doing remodel jobs, you're going to have to cut metal, you're going to have to cut wood, all kind of crap, and the tool performed flawlessly. I used it with the 8 amp battery, worked tremendously well. Um, during the remodel, we decided to remove the, sh the bathtub that was in it. It was a cast iron bathtub. And we put a walk-in shower in it that has tile. Um, there was some water damage on the subfloor and we cut all that out, we replaced it. Um, we used plywood, obviously, and we used the circular saw. This saw works tremendously well. I even have the Hercules blades that's on there. You know, I went all out Harbor Freight on all the tools because it was there in one spot. They was affordable, they was cheap. Um, just price shop these tools, price shop these batteries, and you'll see the value on them yourself. The next thing I picked up obviously was the bit driver because we all know the trouble that I've had with the Milwaukee. It worked flawless. The drill works perfect. Um, they've got the 12 volt line also for you guys that prefer a little bit smaller tool. Like I say, check the prices. You'll see what I'm talking about. But I can attest that the tools hold up the brushless is no joke. This tool ran for a very, very, very long time. Um, the filters that's on the side of it, I don't know if the camera will actually pick it up, but they was extremely clogged up um, from the brick dust. The tool never overheated. It performed. I mean, you can see that tool has had some use on it. It worked very well. Very pleased with the battery and the, how the tool, ex, it, it worked as it was advertised. It, you know, it's not a cheap clone that's not gonna hold up. These tools have impressed me a lot. Um, I'll put some B-roll clips in here of the tools being used in action, that way you can see it yourself. But I will say, if you guys are looking to expand your power tool line, you wanna save some money, if it tires up, if you wanna walk into the store and get a replacement right then, Harbor Freight Hercules is the way to go. All right, so we got the Hercules brushless 20 volt grinder. And as you guys can see, we got a house that was built in 1969. We're cutting the brick out and we're going to replace the windows with a double door. Um, when they, when they throw the warranty on there with the battery and the tool and the price that they've got them at, it's really hard to say no. Just give them a shot, try them. You'll see that you can buy the dual rapid chargers, um, pretty much anything you want. And as far as I understand, they're expanding the line. They've got, um, you know, fans and all kind of stuff. I'd like to see them come out with weed eaters, leaf blowers, all that, especially since I'm vested in the battery platform at this point. I'm impressed with the tools. I feel like they're excellent quality for the money. Now, I know you haters is going to hate and you're going to say all of this stuff, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. All the batteries are made in China or Taiwan, but they're not made in the U.S., no matter what they say. All the power tools, whether it be Milwaukee, whatever, they're made in China. You know, I know DeWalt claims to be made in the USA. I'd like to see kind of what parts were made in the USA. But at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's my money. I can spend it the way I want to. 
Obviously, I'm sharing this with you because I feel like these tools were of value. I'm not paid by Harbor Freight to show you these tools. I'm not paid by Harbor Freight to do a video. I'm not paid by Harbor Freight to tell you to go out and buy it. It's my own free speech, my own free will to show you the different tools because I feel like I've wasted money on other tool lines in the past, and I feel like the Harbor Freight is a value for the money. Take it as you want to. It's an opinion. We all have one, and you know what they say about them, but I personally believe this is an excellent tool line, especially since we know they have quality sales inside the battery. Walk in the store, exchange them, and be done. You don't have to wait on a tool, so that's quite nice as well. But anyway, guys, take a look on the Harbor Freight website. Check out all the line that they have. It's some quality stuff. I can attest to that. We've put them to use. We've put them to the test. We've used them in real world applications, not in some lab test against a machine that shows how strong it is. We've actually used these tools and they work. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. That's my video. Y'all take care. If you like it, hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, you simply click the button and you're done. You never know what we're gonna show next. You guys have a great week and we will catch y'all later. See ya.